Okay, everybody. With all the discussions on the Folger Tech uh, Facebook page about bearings, I want to take a few minutes and go over how I do my bearings. It may not be the best way. Is probably 15 different ways to do this. But uh, what you're going to need for this, isopropyl alcohol, matter of fact. Pour a little fresh pour in the bottle there. Obviously your bearing. These come in real handy. This is just called an acid brush. They sell them at Harbor Freight, any electronics store, somewhere around the soldering areas where you'll find that. Some little tool. And everybody's favorite, super white lithium grease. First, do this over a bucket. We'll talk about that in a minute. Take your bearing apart upside down. You see that your bearings are in there. Nothing will just fall out immediately if you do it this way. And I just take the bearing, hold it over the bucket, and I deluge the bearings. Get a fair amount on there. It'll make them start rolling better and faster. As you'll see them break loose, they'll start going around in a circle. That's a circular channel that they follow through, and you'll see some of the grease and the old crap coming out. And you'll also see that you have one space. If your bearing pack is full, you'll have one free space. Anyway, keep brushing around in a circle. See that right there? That's what happened last time I didn't use the bucket. Them two new shiny bearings. Thank you, Jen Gerwig. Those are the ones she sent me as replacements. I appreciate it. Anyway, brush them around until they roll real freely. And you'll see as you go, they start to get easier and easier and easier to move. Don't cut this down. A lot of people try to cut this down and use it as a scrubber brush. Just leave it full length. You do that, you'll start being able to push them out of the channel. And that one's rolling really good right now. So we're going to call that clean. Same thing for the other side. Brush them until they keep coming around. You'll see globs of junk come out of there. Matter of fact, in a little bucket, it'll get dirtier and dirtier as you go. And watch them little hairs. But they'll start moving real freely when you get all the junk and goop out and dirt. And you'll also see it in the bottom of your little bucket. I recommend doing this before an install. I used to do this about every month and started not but uh, it started showing on my prints. <clears throat> they were getting a little chattery, a little stuck, so you could hear them more. That's well, about the time to take it apart. It sucks, you gotta reset up your gantry and everything, but it's well worth it in the end. All right, so both of those are moving pretty good. I also have a little stash of paper towels laying to the side. I'm gonna just wipe off some of the excess. And it's real good, it's a real important that you blow them out. Let's move that out of the way. Isopropyl alcohol, especially if you use isopropyl alcohol, because it collects, it collects water. As soon as it evaporates, it collects water. You see, I didn't quite get all the grease out of that one. Sometimes if you get them real clean, they'll zip around in circles and you'll really know you got it then. But that's pretty good for now. Just clean it off. Take another one of your acid brushes and just lightly load it. You don't have to be too careful here and you're just going to smear some grease on it. That's a little heavy. And you can kind of push them around with the brush and go until you see the already greased ones again. Or since I don't trust myself with that, I just take my little tool and about the third or fourth bearing up, start pushing them through. And once you get them all lined up, they'll move pretty good. And it usually takes about two or one and a half rounds to get them all through. And it's a little, it's messy. See, I don't have them perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Whoop, popped one out. 
push it back in. All right, that side's made it all the way through. Come over and do the other side. <clears throat> and it doesn't take a lot of grease. There's actually most of this on the edge. We're going to clean back off. You don't need it laying around everywhere. And push them through. Until they're all got a little coating of grease on them. I do use gun oil in between greasings every once in a while. But for a good cleaning and a, we'll call it the fresh start, I use a little white lithium grease. I think most people on the forum even recommend that. And there'll be people who say that grease is too thick and you're they're a little right. Uh, you won't get that super smooth slidey action like you normally do like you see people have but then there's nothing in there for lubrication for the rail I'm going to do this real quick because everybody knows how to clean a rail I'm just going to pull a rag across it and then I dip down in the crack and clean the slide rail out the slot out because this grease will harden over time. It is exposed to air and it's not got any high temperatures like it's used to to keep it nice and smooth. Yeah. Turn around. Reassemble it back the opposite way you took it apart. And there you go. One nice and well lubed bearing. Hope that was informative. Like I said, other people have other ways to do it. But with all the questions on the Facebook page, just want to show how I do it and give some of the newcomers a easier start. If you do this before you build, it's a heck of a lot easier as you go. Have a good day.